Welcome to my 16th day of the ABC Summer Fun and Games. Tonight we'll be reacting to both celebrity... Well, who, yeah, who wants to be a millionaire and claim to fame. This is going to be two parts like always. One for each video. So, in the next six minutes I'll try to react. So enjoy it.
Bags who wants to be a millionaire starts right now. The only thing climbing higher wow, I cannot believe claim to fame think the LJ commercial and who wants to be a millionaire has been delayed. 85% of the sun's heat, which can decrease your because of the Call let's see. Find out more. That's because of the I don't the know guys. It has anything to do with some delays. ABC News special. Come on. Or even are you out of your mind? Mode. I think it was because of the of the President Biden the decision address to the nation. It was at 90. It was at 87 Central. The, who wants to be a millionaire? Claim to fame has been delayed at eight. Here we go, guys. For real this time. Who wants to be a millionaire? Episode three. Title: Who wants to be a millionaire? Spins around on a crest of golden dollar signs. The dollar signs spin around the studio floor. Host: Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, baby. I don't know how it's gonna work out at night eight Central. Find the famous next at ten nine Central. We're back at ten nine Central. As it's known in Canada. So sorry, but if it's not too much bother, we would be very pleased with a million dollars. Yeah. Meet our celebrity Let's contestants. Meet our celebrity contestants, guys. The ladies waiting backstage are very funny friends who co-host a podcast friends. called Best Friends. Best Friends. From the movie Thelma and the Thelma. Disney Plus series Agatha All Along. Agatha the All Along. Nicole Byer. So she is so made, everybody. Yay. It's ladies night, people. We're gonna have two games though. Let's go all the way to the basement. Nicole Byer and Sashir Samara. You can actually use your your Gmail names though. Obviously, that's their usernames. It tells you the usernames. It's kind of cool. I mean, to tell the truth, it's not been in two years, but they did still mention a game show. What? Isn't supposed to be not working on it? Come on. Come on, we need to tell that you're season yeah, seven. We're playing for the downtown women's center. It's an organization it's missing. that provides housing, healthcare services, and job places. Two years and I haven't even watched it tell the truth. women in Los Angeles. Very good. Excellent. All right. Okay, so. so a lot of money for them tonight. You are 15 correct answers away, away from one million dollars. Get our bingo ready because we have four lifelines. 15. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. Ask the audience. Ask the host. And yeah. yes. a friend. Let's play. Who wants to be let's a play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Actually, let's play. Back. Who wants to be a millionaire? This is for one hundred dollars. Do you want to get the question ring correct? I doubt it, but this could be. It's been like two seasons. Jaws. It's a Wonderful Life. Citizen Kane. Great White. Take your guess. Are they know the answers? It's not the wonderful life. It's Christmas. Joss. Skinny Dipper, huh? I think it's Joss. Obviously, it's a bloodthirsty shark. You can't mess up. Dun 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 dun. That's one hundred dollars. They got it right already because of the shark. Let's see what we got. Traffic safety admonition recommends the school. A blue, yellow. Red. Green. Oh, is it gonna pick yellow? There's no blue, red, and green unless we're on outside of the U.S. So it's glossy national school bus, and it's correct. And I got it right again. See? You don't have to get the lifelines already. Home ice is considered an advantage. In which of these professional sports leagues? Home ice is it hockey? NHL? Let me guess. NHL. Screw it. It's home ice. Football, yeah. NBA it's ice football, hockey, baby. Golf. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure NHL's for the hockey league. The yeah, it's home ice, man. NHL, I got it. I already got it before the answers are going to be revealed. The National Hockey League, you can't mess up because NFL, NBA, and the PGA does not have a goddamn ice. There's no icy Next football, icy basketball, and icy golf. Famous for saying, I'll think about it tomorrow. I'll think about tomorrow. Alright, we're at level four. We're going fast. Let's go super fast. I think that's what that's what Match said back in BFDI. Anyway, 
all Take your guess. Oh, oh crap. Not, do you know? I mean, I do have all of these, but <laughs> I uh -oh. think, I mean, this, the, fra the phrase, the phrase, about tomorrow makes me uh, think of procrastination. Oh my God, you were looking for I think it's procrastination. Because I know Scarlett Harris from God from the Wind. Never saw that. Let's go with B, and hopefully we don't get this incorrect, baby. Your final answer is correct. Oh! Holy crap! Otherwise, it's game over. Like, no one has actually got a game over on this. Leaving you with nothing. Do you know the answer? Fire! I know, I know. It's freaking Kentucky Fried Chicken! KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. No way, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, McDonald's. I don't think Ronald McDonald's own this place. Finger licking good, guys. It was suspended the slogan in 2020 during a pandemic. Obviously, it's a freaking KFC. They gave him two easy answers. Congratulations, you completed the first five levels. Things get harder next time. Let's just go medium mode, everybody. And now, the suspense of music actually plays. This is level six, baby. Sitting cross legged. You can now use life lines. Flying on your back. Balancing on one foot. Oh boy. Um, yeah, okay, getting the first question wrong is an embarrassing way to go. When you spray them, they get on their back. You only need a thousand dollars, man. So, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Nobody tries to walk away with any money. No. No. I don't think they have toes. No. Oh and then feet? They got many. Yeah. That would be insane. Imagine seeing a bug on one foot. Okay, we should lock it in. Yeah. Um, lock it. Let's I, go I for... I think it's lying. I've actually this done this before. Them. That's It doesn't favorite. show how much one, money on the, on so, the right. Oh. It's just, so like, like nothing okay, so we're, far. We're it's just a thousand dollars, so... Let's just see. That is the it's correct. Right. It plays the jingle of choosing the, the answer. Now it's time for We're level seven. Book right now the Out of 15. Like you yeah, you guys know. <laughs> We're at level seven. $4,000. This is level seven. Man, Lucky 13 seems exciting to me. That was enjoyable. Got 13 questions. Lucky number, lucky range. Anyway, Oaker Hill. Go. Mm. Take your guess. Mm. I think you know it. Uh, I think I do too. Let's see. I mean, I, I, I so far, I don't know someone cash out a five hundred thousand, which is a bailout. In New York. Like, Holy Westport crap! We're at level seven. We might Mount take Chella? the break. Trying to speed sure. run the game Ellis is Island, sure. not yeah, easy. Choosing answers like crazy. I don't know. Obstructed view of the Statue of Liberty, but Ellis Island. Botticello is in Virginia, as you said. Fort Sumter is in South Carolina. Okay. Ellis Island, Bunker New York. Hill is in Boston. We got it right. Yeah. Holy crap. That's suspect. Now we're at the level eight, baby. You're doing well. We're halfway there. One of your lifelines. You've got four thousand. Okay. Your next questions for eight thousand dollars. This is Which level is 8, baby. Level 8, guys. I wish anybody can make it this far. Someone made it to the quarter million. They want to bail out, but they could have got to the 500,000. Andy, Sean. Okay, what? now this is where it shows up. This is for $8,000. Now the heads of this place shows up. There you go. There's a three-letter word. Three-letter word, guys. Spanish equivalent of that word. Yo, guys. Man, it's a good thing we had the audience for two years, actually. Four years when it debuted, two seasons and four years. It took forever. I think it's like... Yeah, let's see. The first three letters. The first three letters, guys. Okay, three-letter English word. May. A-N-D. And. And. A-N-D. And. Yeah, and then the Spanish... When you say and in Spanish, and you say, say is it so why? E. And if E. You know this, Andy, I think that's correct. I think that's C. I think it's the first three letter English word followed by a word. It's e. Y. E. Right? Go for C, God damn it. Come on, let's go for C. It's. 
Oh, oh shit. shit. You can answer it. Let's go for C, guys. Ants and a Y. It's E. No, Abla. Screw it. Let's put Andy. We don't want to waste a life limb over this. Let's go. That's it. I told you we could have wasted life life for nothing. Freaking Andy from Toy Story. We're at level nine, guys. Oh boy. Level nine. 16,000. Great. Your next question's for $16,000. This one might break me. No, All right, we're going level nine. <laughs> Since 2014, this is it, guys. Who's level voice nine. has been heard in Arby's ads insisting we have the meats? I I like Arby's, we have the James meats! Come on, Arby's Hayes boy. Ving Rames. It's Dennis. Dennis, <laughs> this is for $16,000. <laughs> level nine. 99% sure. I don't know. Oh you my god. I mean, I now we they now finally it. know. Wow. This is for 16 grand. See, you mess up, it's 10,000. Okay, I trust you. That's 1,000 dollars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is our, our final answer. answer. Let's Even go for C for Dennis. Wait, that noise. Oh my god, is it wrong? Is it incorrect already? It is not right. It was Big Race. Big Race, what happened? Race. What happened? Did they leave you with a thousand? Dennis Haysbert has no meat at all. No meat at all. Already got it wrong. Yeah. yeah. But the good news is, we're still going to give $32,000 to your charity. Oh, boy. They're still going to give away $32,000 no matter how they play poorly. And that's very uncanny. Okay, 16 grand was bad. Let's, you know what? Let's go to 32000 well, technically, it counts as a bingo square because even if you get the first question incorrect, I should have said earlier, one to ten questions wrong. So, it does count as a first question incorrect. It was, it should, it was supposed to be first to ten questions incorrect, but, oh well. We were so sorry about that, but... First question was impossible anyway, but it won't count anyways. Anyway, there's pressure lock. The team two's pressure lock. The exeter's lucky for team. And that yet against Clinton Payne, everybody. So this way was a technicality, guys. Even if you get the first question wrong, you will get $32,000. Who wants to be a millionaire? A clip from November 2020. Oh! November 2020! Is that... Wait. Is that why... Who I think it is? We're gonna let down so many Korean mothers. I think it's... It's probably Harrison. David? The contestant smiles and covers his face with his hands. Is that David Chang? Yeah! Metallic testicles, guys. Metallic testicles. I think you won a million. David Chang. You did it. You're metallic testicles. Yup! You has won a million won a million dollars without any audience. See? I seen this moment. And then you get the million dollars, you will actually get the bigger blank check ever. Are here with us. Hey there, David and Mina. David Mina, welcome back! Do you want to reset from the beginning and reset the whole world and try again? Wow! David, check, and Mina, I knew they were going to be here at any moment. Absolutely not. Wow. Wow. David, check, welcome back! I'm, su I'm surprised you're alive like four years ago. And Mina, too. So, remember guys, it was a technicality getting the first question wrong because it's 1 to 10. I just forgot about that. So, it is a technicality. It is what it is. Sorry. Even if you get the first question incorrect, you will leave you with 32 grand. If this is not celebrity, you're toast. Answer with a question or 
If this was not the celebrity version, this could have been illegal with a thousand dollars. That happened during COVID, so, and it was an empty room that you won a million dollars. We figured we owed you a round of applause for winning that million. Yeah, dollars. there's no one he's cheering you until now, everybody. Everyone clap those cheeks for David Chang because they won a million dollars. Yay! I wish he could recompete again, try this again. One time champion. Is an eternally beautiful Greek god. Say hello to John Stamos and Dave Coulier. John Stamos and Dave Coulier. Yay! And not only really they got the night, the night question incorrect. So remember, guys, first the ten questions if you get it wrong, yeah, you will get thirty-two grand no matter how poorly your performance is. Wow. No matter how the poor performance you're doing. It would be you. Anyway. What charities are you playing for tonight, fellas? I am playing for uh, so. Children's Hospital of Michigan. Oh, well, at least this is something cool. I'm representing my home state of Michigan, and I've visited those kids. That is interesting. It's a wonderful... I know that's what, that's what happens so if we get the question incorrect in our first no, 10 no, questions. No, so, let's see. Which is, uh, the prevention Shell Hell, the prevention of child abuse for John's for charity, for guys. 35 years now. My mother used to take me up there to uh, where all the kids were. You, you guys have been Ooh. doing the Christmas show together a couple of yeah. times. Yeah. Right, get, get ready. Can't believe they haven't changed any audience along with Nina. Let's try again. That was... Dumb. See that? The number five is 1,000. You could have got 1,000 for charity, and that's stupid. Let's just not screw that. Let's go 32 grand. Like, no matter how poor you're getting. Anyway, does that mean we have a chance to win a million dollars? We have a whole time in the whole world, guys. Let's play millionaire. Audience, let's play. Max, who wants to be a millionaire, baby? We're starting at level one. Remember, even if they get the question wrong, they're going to get 32 grand and leave. So, yeah. Frankenstein, and the Green Gables, Charlotte's Web. Tuesdays with Marjorie Taylor Green. Bone chilling story. Is that Frankenstein? Yep. It, <laughs> and told you that's because these celebrity contestants keep getting correct answers because their answers are too easy. The questions are too easy. Now for level two. A must-have fashion item for the bros. Jorts. For the bros, guys. It's not really Hammer Brothers, but. Corduroy. Denim. Do you know this one? Do you guys know? I've never worn anything close. Wow. Jorts. Well, you, shorts? Yeah, you don't wear shorts because you got oh, very, God. Skinny, very skinny legs. Yeah, but so, I think I know what it is. Jo it's it's jeans and shorts. It's shorts. Yeah. D, denim is our... Denim? Are you sure? Answer. D is for denim. Jeans, It's correct. Hey, now we're going to level three, guys. So, we're at level three, everybody. Requires drivers Level to complete three. a two-week course at Lutz School. Curly, Curly Fry, Fry Community, Community College, College. Hot Dog High, Hot dog high. Pepperoni, Pizza, Pepperoni Prep. Pizza Prep, Chicken, Chicken Tender, Tender Technical, Technical Institute, Institute guys. Well, we the Chicken Tender right? Technical Institute kind of reminds you of the Beetle Fun Face, the Motion of Institute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Hot Dog High. Huh? Okay, Hot Dog High. Screw it. High. Screw it. Chicken Tender. John and Dave chuckle. The wiener model screwed a piece of pot. This is for 500, so. What 2023 film stars and actors well, at least it made it possible. Let's see. on the interwebs as Timothée Chardonnay, Ferrari, Wonka, okay. Blue Beetle, Napoleon. Napoleon. I'd say it was the Wonka. Timothée Chalamet. Timothée Chalamet. Uh, that is my final answer. Are you sure? Final Let's answer go. Is Wonka. And that That's her right. One more. It goes a thousand dollar guarantee that doesn't do nothing. Which of these That's why is the no one walked away. US poster uh, stamps that celebrate bluegrass yeah. music. We have Cello, to keep playing or something. Rockets, sitar, banjo. And I would say after the thirty-two thousand dollars round, which is a sixty-four, 
This is where it gets important, guys. So you're telling me that we got $64,000. This is where you pull up. If you get it wrong, you lose all your money. It drops to $32,000. So if you get to thirty-two after $32,000, it'll get serious this time. The game is not playing around. Now, please don't mess up. This is for level 6, guys. <laughs> oh, right. Level 6, man. Twenty twenty four. I think it's Family Guy, obviously. This came out in 1999. Wait. Do you want to do a Law and Order? No. Or ask the audience? I think it's funny people now watching television. I think the Rock and Feller pizza from Family Guy? I don't know. Apparently never watched television. I mean, I think Family Guy came out in 1999. But I think Law and Order came out in 1980s. I know it wasn't West Wing, right? Okay. And it wasn't that no. It wasn't Family Guy. It wasn't for a cartoon. It wasn't 25th anniversary of Sopranos. Sopranos? No. Right? No. If we if we lost right now and we had four lifelines, yeah, we couldn't be. We friends. couldn't be friends. We're screwed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Special victim units from NBC. Law and Order special. Uh, screw it. No, I cannot be Family Guy. If I don't want to screw it, well, I lose the game anyway. I can tell you. First of all, you know all of these shows started 25 years ago, so Whoa. it's not such an easy question. But um, I think we got it. You answered it. Yeah, it was Law and Order on NBC, guys. It is a tricky question because. They're not joking around. They're all celebrating 25 years like Spongebob and then this show. That's a cool anniversary question. GMA tomorrow morning, guys. People talk, on SML talking about Michael Strahan for Good Morning America. There are some references out there. I mean, that would be cool to see Michael Strahan on SML. Like, an actual Michael Strahan on SML. We do get to see Tom Brady and Jimmy Butler, but not these guys. White spotlights and gold oh yeah, we're at level. So playing poorly gives you 32 grand. I don't talk to too the much. So anyway, we're at level seven. These famous objects is regularly so, sanitized. One last time. If you play too poorly, you win $32,000 anyway. However, if you get to the $64,000 question or onwards, this is where you lose all your money. All the drop all the way to $32,000. Here we go, guys. Most unhygienic attraction. Yeah, that's cool. We went to like Eagle Rock. <laughs> anyway, you play clarinet. Even yeah, you leave, you don't even leave here empty-handed yeah. anyway. Yeah. So what's the point? <laughs> that's where we went. So there's terminology. no bailout. You have to play the game yourself. <laughs> so Both himself. Can't, can't right. And Diamond. Yeah. The is the statue. Venus. Yeah. yeah. Too high. Yeah. Oh I, I boy. Blarney Stone. I'm pretty Blarney Stone. Stone. Are you? Gutenberg Most unhygienic attraction. <laughs> this is where it gets harder. Uh, I know it cannot be Family Guy. So, Law and Order Special Victims Unit came out. Also came out in 1999. Your, it's a very tricky yeah, question, I'm obviously. My hands if Try I not to jump that. the gun on the answer. Blarney Stone? Stone, final answer. Final okay, answer. let's go to level 8. Your final answer it's Blarney Stone. Stone. People kiss, kiss the Blarney Stone, Stone and, and it's her rock! Yeah! yeah. We're going to level 8, guys. We're going all the way to the little tower. Wait, what? Rocking? They replaced the F bomb with the R, so it's known as rocking. Grappling in a sand pit. Hiking in a weighted vest. All right. Cycling up steep inclines. This is for 8,000 now. D. There you go. Okay, help on this one. Remember, you're at level yeah, 7. This, this is rucking is, is rucking. Okay. He knows food. He's probably this is it. Guy. Remember, I mean, you have four lifelines. Like you want to use them? Come and use it, Blinky. You got this. 
Oh, you may want to use. Grappling in a sand oh, I think it's cycling. Cycling. I think Ask Jimmy. Actually. Let's see how how uh, well he performs. Nah, he doesn't exercise. No. <laughs> He's older than he looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three si we people can, sitting uh, on stools in the hot can, sea, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We can ask the audience. Yes. I hope we don't like mess up and play this thing poorly like the other. They lost the 16,000. They could have got a thousand and then they jumped to 32 grand. But we have 50 50. We have a power. We have all the time in the world. So. Well, we don't know if that's going to be part of the 50 50. But if it is. Um, Remember, like we have the whole time in the world, guys. Do you want to use last lines? Do you want to win? Well, do you like this? Do you like this? Yeah, this is the one where the boating war is destroyed. It's, Jimmy, you got this. Do not have the answers, guys, to the question, so... You're smart. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Jimmy. Don't let us down. But here's what I think. That guy on your show, though. And you're right. I do know Guy. Yeah. I know there's a rucksack. Rucksack. Oh. I know rucksack. We asked the host, everybody. Mm. And I'm very sure wow. that the final answer final should be a C. A C hiking in, hiking in the way invest. The question is worth eight thousand dollars. Mayor Flepton, rocking hiking. Okay, let's play C for cow final answer. Let's reveal the correct and see how it goes. That's it. Hey, we got it. We used a lifeline. I have three left. And now we're at. Wait, level nine. Yes, level eight on record shows you the heads of this play. Now for level nine. It's the only U.S. state capital whose this name shares no borders with the name of its state. This is Dover, where it gets harder. Montgomery, Dollar, Jefferson, City, Jefferson City, Pierre. Pierre. Where's this is for sixty thousand dollars. Whose name? Wow. <laughs> this is it, guys. Wow. Actually, we had the whole time in the world since they got it wrong too poorly, guys. Let's see if we can outrun better than a snowman? Smarter than a fifth grader? Smarter than Nicole Fire? Oh, man. You want to go with Lucky Pierre? Lucky Pierre. Final answer. Do you want three more last lines? I'm here on the show with you, John. Hmm. You might be prepared for the last ten because things are going to get important, so... Do you want to go with Pierre? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm pretty confident. I just, let's go for Pierre. I'm being... I'm doing my own 50-50 right now because uh, I don't know the other two. Okay, we have no idea. We could do 50-50 and if Pierre is one of them, I would, I'd be very confident Yeah, I just with I'll stick with Pierre. Are we trying again? 50-50? 50 50 Come take computer away the two incorrect. Got on his computer. It was Pierre. Disappear, leaving Jefferson yep. City and Pierre. <sighs> Jefferson City. <laughs> we'll take no, let's screw Pierre. Pierre let's go, Pierre. Told, told you. The question is worth sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. You were right the whole time, Dave. You told you. Now doubt yourself, man. Well, I'm going to talk about level 10 later. We're down to six levels. So this is where this is for 32 grand. We talked about earlier, so. This is that whole Wolverine, everybody. Are y'all prepared to see the, the that pool versus Wolverine? And of course, this movie is rated R. The studio lights flash and the question points are replaced by dollar signs. Guest host Ryan Reynolds and Huck Hackman. Let's play Millionaire level 10, guys. We got $16,000. Next wow. question's for $32,000. This is where it gets important after this. In a 2024 interview, Mary Well, Street not important until the 12th question. question. In Out of Africa, in which yeah. Robert Redford's character tenderly does what? Let's see. Hand feeds her figs. Hand feeds her figs. Applies mud to her legs. Mud to her legs. Shampoos her hair. Shampoos her hair. Wraps her broken ankle. Wraps her broken ankle. You got Do you this. this movie? You guys no. remember the film? I don't watch movies. Uh, I don't really watch movies. Audience. I think enough people here would have seen the movie to really help us. Yeah, and hopefully. And then at least we get to have a very intelligent guest. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you want to do that? Do you want to ask the audience? I feel I feel good about this audience. I mean, listen, if you can't yeah. feel good about a group of random strangers in Culver City, yes. who can you feel exactly. good about? That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. You want to use that lifeline? You want to use lifeline? Want to ask the audience? Let's right. do it. Ask, ask the audience. audience. John and Dave need your help. Let's see. Are you Get kidding? ready. Go now. Go now. I'll tell you, the audience is right more than 90% of the time. You got it. Doesn't mean this one is, but... What the heck? Oh, boy. The number one answer with 31% of the vote was... Wraps her broken ankle. ankle. Followed by shampoos her hair. Her hair for C. Followed by applies mud to her legs. Her eggs for 23. And, and feeds her figs. Wow. In other words, you don't know. That's gotta be tough. <laughs> I don't think it's right. I don't think D is you don't right. think, it, you There's think a chance to get an audience well, fail. The second one, C. Yeah. I think it's shampoos her hair. I that would be right nice. Yeah. That would be sexy. That would be very kind. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I think... Okay, uh, we're gonna go with C. Shampoo's this is shampoo's hair. hair. Answer, Let's upset the audience. Even though our audience got it wrong, we got it right. Got it right. Well, that's an audience fail, everybody. We upset the audience, everybody. Well, it is an audience fail, guys. $64, but it's not, they didn't actually freeze. get, even if they got it wrong, that one doesn't count. John's this one, okay, that square of the audience fail doesn't count, but the hey, that's an audience upset. Into the roof of your mouth, on one of your temples, yeah. under your chin, into, into your ear, ear canal. Yeah, if they... I think it's A, because I've done that into before. Into the roof to your mouth. Not to myself, but to someone else. Is that when you were on ER? Yeah. <laughs> Under your chin, I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Take uh, your guess. Take your guess. I don't think, I think it's, I, I feel it here. Let me show you. Onto one ear? Mm -hmm. No, I know where that hand could have been. <laughs> if you think it's in the roof of your mouth, which would, which would make sense because maybe the, uh, mm -hmm. pressing the, you know, skin on the inside of your mouth would mm -hmm. force blood into that area, and it would... Uh, I thought you were going to get better at this. Mm -hmm. I'm talking it out. I'm not done yet. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> under your chin doesn't make sense. Around under your, your chin. Ear canal. Ear canal, let's see. <laughs> ear canal? Your thumb... thumb. I, think, I, think, I think it's that. Your thumb doesn't really fit into your ear canal. Ear canal, man. And one of your... Oh, yours does. Under your chin. Under you your chin. Into the roof of your mouth? You got this. No, uh, that's I did. We that. could. No. Nope. nope, not this one. <laughs> Let's see. After eating ice cream too quickly. For thirty-five years. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be working. I we only got one more. Life phone a friend, everybody. It is your mouth that is. This is things get harder, guys. Right. It's associative. Oh. Great. We'll, we'll say, say A into your room a. with your mouth. No yeah. life lines, and everybody. And final, final answer. Oh, boy. You know, I don't know what the answer is, but... Thankfully, you, you didn't actually you ask Jimmy it, for this. And when you did it, I could feel it working. I think you got it. Right? You got yeah. it. And once again, you trusted your guts. And we got it right. And once again, your guts have come, come through you. because we got it right. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a break, and this is where it gets important now. Now, this is where you lose all your money. This is it, guys. There's a new show called Dr. Odyssey. $64,000. Things get important now. We're four levels away. I don't know if that's a lot. That's like... We gotta get to 125. 125. 125. Still have your phone a friend. You still have phone a friend. So if we get that so next question right, next question we're going to one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Yes, here it is. Guys, all we have to get four correct twenty-five thousand dollars. Which of these not very upbeat birds is mentioned in the lyrics of the get classic nineteen fifty song Rock and Robin? Vulture, vulture, buzzard, buzzard, ostrich. ostrich. Condor. 
Do you know about which the song? Which of not very happy birds is, oh, which is mentioned in that song? No, oh, yeah. This is such a good question for John. I mean, I, I feel like this is when it's written Guys, for John. this is it, guys. Oh, this is just, just you had to know the lyrics. I would have to say B for B. buzzer. You think it it's is? Don't forget the lyrics question, literally, in a millionaire I game. I think it's, hey. Um. A buzzer. I, I think it's buzzer. Buzzer. You think it's buzzer. So remember, if you get it wrong, this is where you lose your, your money. So, do you want buzzard to? Is buzzard. What am I doing here? Do you, you know, you're sure. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to use voice lines? Life lines? Who would write condor? Who would write condor in the street? There's a big old condor on my street. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Buzzard. He's a vulture. It's a vulture. Not an ostrich. Not an ostrich. Oh, rock and robin. There's an ostrich on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Rock and robin. We don't have any of those. I think it's Buzzard, too. Buzzard. Go Buzzer, screw the lifeline. Let's go. Because that's the, don't forget the lyrics answer. The final answer is buzzer. 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 Yeah, well, this goes. Uh, uh, second person. Come on. It goes. He out. Oh, outsmart, uh, outsmart the thing and the buzzer and the thing and the buzzer. The Oriole. Yeah. Uh, wait, do we get it wrong? Do you know? Wait, what? <laughs> I think the we. Man never did rock the robin. Oh God. Could be vulture. Yeah, I think it could be vulture. It could be vulture. For is it buzzer? Nah. The answer is buzzer. It's buzzer, yeah. yeah. Clutches his fist. Wow, good. See, we're going to the quarter million. We've made it this far, guys. Guys, we might make Jimmy Kimmel say, You just won a million dollars. Exists. Yeah, five this is it, guys. Level 13, guys. The Starry Night. Starry Night. Nighthawks. Nighthawks the the Scream. Christina's, Christina's World. World. This is for a quarter um, million. You got 125. It's either A or C, the Starry Night or the Scream. Yes. Uh, if, if we, if we use our, our phone, phone. Right. just figure out how we can say this fast. Yeah, you got uh, lifelines. Uh, you want one? I mean, he might know it. Our, yeah. our friend is pretty smart. But, uh, you want so lifelines? What masterpieces exist before? in five in five yeah. different? Forget the first part of the question. Forget the first part. You would just say. How would you say it? What masterpiece has five different versions? Four yeah. paintings, a uh, black and white lithograph, a Starry Night, yeah. Nighthawks, The Scream, uh, or uh, Christina's World. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Do you, should we call? Should we use call our phone? Call a friend. friend. This is our last one. I think so because I have no idea. No Who clue. is your phone a friend? Aladdin. He was Aladdin. The voice of Aladdin. Oh, for real, Scott Weinger. Scott Weinger. Oh, uh, Aladdin, guys, the genie. All right. Let's ask the genie for some help. The Full House Hill, game. Full House. No, DJ's, not the uh, game. Just I never saw it. so. <laughs> oh He's a boy, graduate. Harvard graduate. So I guess we should call him to see if to all, see all the money. <laughs> Let's see if he could spend in Harvard. He paid attention in art history class. Yeah, history yeah, class. Yeah, Let's see. Know, he, uh, a bright guy. I think he. I think oh he would know this. boy. You want to use your phone, a friend? Phone, a friend. Yeah. yeah. Let's go Let's for phone, a friend. friend. Last one. Let's get him on the line. Get ready. Girl, Scott, it's me, the genie. <laughs> Scott, the genie. Who are you rubbing right now? <laughs> hello, Scott. Hello, Scott, hello, the genie. genie. Jimmy, well, come up from who was in there. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. It's yeah. <laughs> Scott, can you do give us a little Aladdin? Aladdin. Uh, carpet. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's from Disney. Aladdin. That's there was a uh, remake so of going. live action remake. Dave is going to read you the question. He's going to read you four wow. possible answers. Four possible answers. You have Thirty, 30 seconds, seconds, including him reading the question. Answer. Okay. I'm ready. Get Scott, ready. Your time starts now. Get ready. In the art world, what masterpiece exists in five different versions? Four paintings yes, and a black and white 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 graph. Starry Night, Starry Night, Night Hawks, Night Hawks the, screen, the Screens, or, or Christina's World. world. Okay, okay, say that again. Starry Night, Starry Night, Night, Night Hawks, the, the Screen, or Christina's, Christina's World. world. Four paintings and one for... black and white. Look yeah, again. hurry. 30 seconds. Go. Okay. Go. Starry Night. Name it. Three, Three seconds. It's Dang. not Starry Night. All it is, not Starry Night. said it's not Starry Night. Yeah. All right, well, 
I told you we should have called someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. All we did is just... Who's Scott? Yeah, yeah, Monday morning quarterback. Monday morning quarterback, yeah. yeah. I, I, think it, I think it's the scream. I think it's the scream. Oh, and boy. I, and I'm going to say... Are you good with that? So you think it's the scream? I think scream. it's the scream. Why do you think it's the scream? Because my instinct tells me... Five different versions. Four pages in a black and white little graph. Dave stares at the question and nods. Oh boy. You're my teammate if you feel teammate. strong. I gotta support my teammate. Well, why, well, oh those two boy. He said, we don't know those They're two. So Scott close, said it's not guys. Starry night. Right. Scott. I'd like to say. The scream. Steve, the scream. Final answer. For my final yeah, answer. Yeah, it's been nice knowing us. Nighthawks is a very famous painting. If you saw it, you'd know yeah. it instantly. Christina's World. Yeah, a, very a very famous, famous painting. painting. Really? Do we get John it right? Dave swivel their chairs around oh, so their God. backs face Jimmy. The Starry Night, one of the most famous paintings of all time. time. Uh -huh. yeah. And The Scream, also one of the most, most famous, famous paintings, paintings of all time. time. What John are you guys doing? The other yeah, person is on the floor and his freaking forehead leaving. These guys. I think you may got it. Dear God, throughout this game, you've trusted Dave's gut. Yeah. John comes in. John comes in, guys. He doesn't even know one of the two of them. What? Yeah, he took 250. And yet somehow. Somehow got somehow, it right. Let's see. He managed to get it right. Yes. It's not the starry night, guys. <laughs> well done. So, this is for five hundred dollars. Guys, we're going to the final two levels. We're back. We made it back this far, guys. Holy crap, we're going to be exciting. Blue and yellow lights flash around the top of the studio. This is harder than we thought. This is it, guys. The wolf in sheep's clothing. The wolf in horse clothing. If you can't hide your this could be four in a row, guys. Don't and we're not talking about pressure and lock, guys. Don't play the game, everybody. Just don't. A special time due to the ABC News. Oh, why? That's it, baby. The gold question points are replaced by dollar signs. Welcome back. We're on a roll. Let's do it. Let's play millionaire. This is it. Five hundred thousand. Guys, level fourteen. Since he reportedly hated the nickname Scarface, Al Capone. Guys, no, bro, I don't think any. I think it's the second time. Wow, I could have went to the million, but. Alphonse Capone. Bimbo. Snorky. Bimbo. Sheba. John squints at the question. Thank you, guys. You don't have any luck like that. Good luck. I'd like to call Joe Pesci on this one. Are you sure? Because I'm going to shoot you in the foot, Spider, if you don't no. get this one. Hey, now you have to take the money or leave. So if we say, Total guess, yeah. So if we say, let's take the yeah. money and run, we go, we're out of here with 250. Yeah, take That's the money and money. run away. I have no I don't either. idea. But if we got a ride, 500, it would be a guess. Yeah, it would be a guess. Be bimbo, but I, 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 bimbo. And then no if, last if we got a long, how much would we go home with? I don't remember. You go home with 32. $32. Yeah, you go home with 32. Let's see you earlier. Versus 250. I think we take the money. Take the money and leave now. I think it's, I think it's bimbo. I just have a... Wait, don't say I have the, a hunch. Don't say the F word. Yeah. The F word. Yeah, Ford. Um, look, 125, 125. Is that tax free? Well, it is a wow. This goes directly to the kids. It yeah. would be fantastic. Yeah. 250 is a lot of money, money guys. Let's right. dine and dash and run. We're done. We quit. Dave, you said you said Bimbo? You Bimbo? Bimbo. Yeah. Let's just quit. Either Bimbo or, or Shiba. Okay. Well, let's find let's out see. just for the hell of it. Just the, the hell of it. Right the right answer is. The right answer is. Snorky. So you made the right decision. Yeah, we made the right decision because that would have been wrong. Hey, we won 250! Yay! And that's how you play the game, everybody. Millionaire, everybody. So, to next is going to be claim to fame. A four 
a quadruple whammy on claim to fame? Can we get four whammies in a row on a different game? Let's see what we got. Well, we do get to see the monitor on the front. That's cool. Deadpool and Wolverines, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman guest host Jimmy Kimmel Live with Emma Corrin tonight. Wow. It's not over the 16th day of my ABC Summer Fun and Games reaction of 2024. There's going to be more with Clay to Fame. You have to watch a different video, though. This is Update 36, 10 to 9. I'll see you on the Clay to Fame reaction. So, bye bye.